Hi and welcome back to Transfer Talk. This is a Transfer Talk with a difference and we haven't done one for quite some time because everybody else was talking about the transfers. So much was going on. We thought we'd take a little pause and come back at a later date. Transfer Talk with a difference because we've already signed him. We just want to have a quick look at Juraj Kushka who was so impressive in his Aston Villa debut and so missed in the subsequent game against Brighton. Let's have a quick look at uh, what he's done before and answer the question, was that Aston Villa game a one-off, a fluke, or is it something he does a lot? Let's have a look at this. Should I stay or should I go? is that Juraj Kushka, that's how he plays. That's what he does. He's very reminiscent of a Brian Robson from the from the 80s and the 90s. Sorry for you younger guys out there. Brian Robson was a player at Manchester United and West Brom before that, who was brilliant in defence. He played in midfield and he was incredible going forward. He was very injury prone. Manchester United had a fantastic win record with Brian Robson playing and an appalling one without him. That's the concern with Kushka. And the reason we say about that is because we took a look at his stats, his availability and how much he played over the last couple of years. Bearing in mind he's 34, his muscles are going to be getting stiffer, he's going to be more injury prone, it's going to take him a little bit longer to recover. As you can see from these particular uh, stats, the roles of the last 38 games that he played in Serie A, he had a number of two to three game absences, uh, about 10 in each season, where he was having to recover. And I can't see that necessarily changing. Uh, good news, obviously, that his injury isn't a three month um, absence, but we may see a repeat of these kind of muscle strains, muscle pulls, problems that you get as you get older. Oh, God alone, I, I know what that feels like. It, it hurts when I get out of bed, let alone play football at the rate that that man does. So the question is, is how well are we gonna be able to cope with the occasional absence of Uri Kushka? Because he's a heck of a player. That signature move where he runs alongside an attacking player and literally kind of eases him out to be able to take the ball turns and belts forward with the ball is something we've seen repeated in the video. So he looks a fabulous signing, even if he's gonna be for two years. If he was 26, we probably wouldn't be able to get him. He was playing at AC Milan and the like at the time, but he looks a real, real good player. The next transfer talk we're gonna take a look at is looking at Ozan Tufa. Um, who may well be the answer to that question about what do we do when we don't have Kushka available. We'll see you next time. Cheers. <laughs>